Leicester Animal Rescue near Tilton on the Hill in Leicestershire. A rescue centre that takes in dogs and cats. And they've got some long term dogs in this rescue shelter. And by long term, I mean the time served is in years, not just weeks and months. So they've had. And these are typical problem dogs, terriers, staffies, things like that, that persistent offenders, persistent behaviours that make it very difficult for people to live with. And <clears throat> part of the programme of working with them is to help them deal with these dogs and show these dogs different behaviours so they can find their new home. Very similar brief with these people as with the RSPCA in Leicester. People seem to be in these rescue centres very gadget orientated, shall I say. Yeah. And by gadgets, I mean things that are, you know, training aids, I think would be a, a description you'd find in a pet shop. A training aid. You know the kind of thing I mean? Gen Con. Halty, gentle leader, harnesses, and <clears throat> I find them very frustrating in the regard that anything that inflicts pain on a dog should never be used. A gen con, a gentle leader, <clears throat> works by forcing the dog's head round if it pulls, <clears throat> which puts immense strain on the neck and it also pushes up under the eyes which again adds to the discomfort of the dog. These things work by purely creating a negative association in that's usually pain. The Gen Con uses <coughs> discomfort and pain. Harnesses rub under dogs arms make it very easy for them to pull give you no control over the dog whatsoever. Choke chains, another example, rope choke leads. Anything that involves constricting a dog's airway or puts pressure on a dog's neck in the way of constriction is using pain and discomfort as a negative reinforcement. So if you want to teach your dog that way then you know there's loads of stuff out there you can do. My view is very different. I use two pieces of equipment. No matter what dog I'm training, I use the same pieces of equipment. A proper collar with a buckle and a clip-on lead. That's it. Nothing else. Because it's like any piece of equipment you ever use in your life. If you learn, if you learn to use it properly, it will be the best thing you ever use, it will be the best thing you ever buy. The problem is that we are not taught, as dog owners, how to use a lead properly, how to create the right environment for the dog to walk in. So it's no wonder that these, this array of gadgets are on the market when they have no actual place in dog training because the thing that teaches a dog how to behave is you not a piece of equipment you need to be attached to the dog for one simple reason <clears throat> so you can influence the execution of decision effectively saying a non-verbal no so you can start to have a conversation completely non-verbally with your dog. That is the correct use of a collar and lead and there's <clears throat> any amount of behaviours that you can think of that can be retrained very effectively with simply the correct use of a collar and lead. So all of these training aids are a substitute for a lack of knowledge, be that from the owner or the trainer, and primarily 
the trainer because the owner invariably does what the trainer says. So the lack of knowledge from the trainer that they have to use gadgets and things like that in order to generate any amount of control over the dog. The dog does not learn how to behave because pulling on its nose hurts it. The dog learns how to behave from the owner communicating properly and effectively with the dog. <clears throat> and I, d I do get frustrated when I see harnesses and choke chains and rope chokes used on dogs and Gen Cons and gentle leaders. Because effectively you're just giving up on the dog. Well, you know, you'll you will learn to walk for me because I'll make you pain I'll make it painful for you if you don't. Not my way of training. And from the amount of people I meet, it's not their preferred way of training, but it's the way that they think they have to do it because of the instruction they're given. Now that is worrying. If the level of knowledge in dog trainers is sufficiently low that they are relying upon gadgets like that. Communication with your dog is the answer. A relationship with your dog is the answer. And that's exactly what I can teach you to do. Whatever your dog, whatever your problem. That's how I work, that's what I do. So if I can help you, just get in touch and I'll be delighted to help you. Okay? Have a good day. Take care.